And uh, first thing first, let us relax and open our, I'm telling myself to take a deep breath, open ourselves to the Holy Spirit. He is here. He is among us and with us to teach us and just uh, be in the position of listening to him, asking questions, wondering, all that. Um, so uh, our French translator is Marshall. He will do his uh, connection first with uh, Michelle. Then they will let us know that after everything is okay, then I will continue. First, uh, Marshall, connect with your French uh, audience and then let me know when you are done. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is good. So this is uh, what's happening. Um, I will uh, lead the emceeing and Norm Dick, our mission minister will facilitate the Q and uh, A uh, session. At, after every session, we will have question and answer. He will uh, follow your questions on the chat. Please keep writing any question that comes to you and any comment, he will uh, follow them. But not that we will answer all of them today, but it is a good learning experience to share them. And uh, then our worship leaders are Anil and Matthew. They will lead us in worship. And uh, our um, executive minister, Lee Arasar Killer, would, uh, would give an opening remark after the worship. Uh, and everything is recorded, as you know. If you don't want to be recorded, just uh, turn off the video and uh, then you won't be appearing that. So we, we will be recording every, everything that is here. Uh, let, me, let me start um, the event in, in prayer. In Joel chapter 2, 28 and 29, God announced to human history something really new, especially for Israelites. Uh, he said, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people, all flesh. It used to be on my people, Israel. But here he just breaks into history through the Holy Spirit with an uninspired prophet and he says, upon all people, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreamers. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. That is God speaking into human history from Yoel on, including us. So the Spirit of God is here. Jesus is with us. He is going to speak to us. Let us pray. Almighty God, the creator of the universe, the whole universe and all things in it. You, our heavenly Father, we pray today with thankfulness that we can do this even in this tragic pandemic time. We can connect through media like this, technology like this. We give thanks for all the minds behind this. We give thanks for technology. We give thanks that you are still in control. Even when it seems everything is out of control. Thank you for peoples of every nation this morning that are gathered here. All of them servants of yours. They serve you in different languages. They look different from each other, but they are all filled. We are all, all filled with the spirit that is from you, one spirit. One purpose, glorifying you, serving you, representing your kingdom here on earth. This morning, our prayer is that you speak through your servant, through each other, into our becoming, into our embracing and nurturing of intercultural church, which we are. 
People are moving, immigrating all over the continent. Each country is becoming a mini globe. Father, we want a language for our becoming. And one of the languages that is echoing today is intercultural church. Help us to understand it, help us to question this term and also come to terms how to express it and explain it to our friends. Be with us, help each one of us, we pray and we allow you, we open ourselves to you in the name of Jesus our Lord we pray, amen. So yeah, I will give the, the pulpit to the worship leaders now. Thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen here. Beautiful. Good morning. My name is Annalie Leptisen. On behalf of myself and my co-worship leader, Matthew Buddha, we want to welcome you to today's event. Both of us grew up in MCEC congregations and we're so delighted to be leading you in worship. We're especially excited that we're able to use resources from the new Voices Together hymnal as we explore intercultural worship together. So in this service, we hope to explore the breadth of cultures through the songs we sing and the prayers we share. The intercultural vision is about more than inclusion. It's about radical welcoming that calls us all to change, to challenge both the believers in the more dominant cultures and believers in the assumed and known minority cultures to work together in becoming the intercultural body of Christ. We will be modeling this by singing some non-Western songs and sharing prayers from many, many communities of different cultural backgrounds. When, when singing these songs, we, we are not just learning to sing in so, songs from other places, but we are learning to pray in new ways and, and in solidarity with those who embody these sung prayers. This morning, we want to begin by acknowledging the land on which we gather. This resource um, that I'm going to share is found in Voices Together, number 878. We acknowledge that we are gathering on the traditional territory of Indigenous peoples. We affirm that settlers have specific responsibilities in the journey of reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. Today, we gather in many places. Um, I am located on the land of the Anishinaabe Algonquin Nation. I invite you now to enter the names of the peoples whose land you are located on. If you do not know, visit nativeland.ca, um, which maybe Matthew, you can put in the chat. So if you know the names of the indigenous people whose land you are residing on today, we invite you to put that in the chat for a moment. We give thanks to Creator and to those peoples who have stewarded this land for generations. We are grateful for the opportunity to live, work, and worship here as we witness the reconciling movement of the Spirit and seek to live into right relations with our Indigenous neighbours and all of creation. This morning's worship will include recordings of songs accompanied by notated music on the screen. So if you have a physical copy of Voices Together, uh, feel free to follow along there, or you will find the resources that you need on the screen as well. Please keep yourself muted for the singing. There is one point in the service where we will invite you to unmute yourself and join us in the prayer that Jesus taught. At this time, we will embrace the cacophony of voices. Our call to worship this morning Features campers from Ontario Mennonite Music Camp teaching us how to say peace be with you in many languages. Please joining, join us in learning how to pass the peace with others who speak a variety of languages. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. Kwan san kap soup, you kap chow. Kwan san kap soup. 
อยู่กับเจ้าวันสันกับสุอยู่กับเจ้าเฟรดแมตตีเฟรดแมตตีเฟรดแมตตีตี่ชงเจ้าแม่เพงอันตี่ชงเจ้าแม่เพงอันเพงอัน Que la paix soit avec toi. Que la paix soit avec toi. Que la paix soit avec toi. La paix c'est continue. La paix c'est continue. La paix c'est continue. Salam le nanta yehun. Salam le nanta yehun. Salam le nanta yehun. Friede sei mit dir. Friede sei mit La paix bon Dieu avec nous. La paix bon Dieu avec nous. La paix bon Dieu avec nous. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Frère Zaimedia, Frère Zaimedia, Frère Zaimedia. Our first song uh, that we'll sing together is a traditional Zimbabwean song. It was arranged by a good friend and colleague of the Hymn Society, Patrick Mitsankiri, and we sing this song as a prayer. For Matt Sikinyiri, who passed away yesterday as a result of COVID complications in Zimbabwe. This is Hakuna Wakaita, found in Voices Together, number 68.
Our next song um, is the first song in Voices Together. It's titled Summoned by the God Who Made Us. It is a call to bring our different gifts as we sing a new church into being. Um, if you have Voices Together, you'll find it at number one. And if you don't, there won't be music on the screen, but we invite you just to um, let the music and the words wash over you as a prayer.
At this time, we offer the Six direc Directions Prayer of Thanksgiving, and you can find this in Voices Together, number 864. Six Directions Prayers, based on Ojibwe teachings, highlight living a balanced life, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. As we pray, we will face different directions, north, south, east, west, and center. So let's take a moment now to orient yourself towards these directions wherever you are. We offer thanksgiving to our creator, recalling that Christ is the center of creation and our lives as Christians. As we face east, the direction of the rising sun, we offer thanks for the gifts of the tree world and for new beginnings. Help us to be honest with you and others and to be wise and just in our use of the resources of the earth. We give thanks to you, O oh God. As we face south, where we receive warmth, we offer thanks for the gifts of the animal world and for the call to be humble. Enable us to walk good paths, to live as family should, and with you, to renew the face of the earth. We give thanks to you, O oh God. As we face west, where we receive teachings of faith, we offer thanks for the gifts of the rock world and the purifying and fruitful waters. Sustain us and the earth through your Holy Spirit and give us faith as strong as the rock. We give thanks to you. Oh God. As we face north, the direction of wind and snow, we offer thanks for the plant world and for kindness and wisdom. Breathe your strength and, and endurance. Us. And give us wisdom to treat each other with kindness. We give thanks to you, oh God. As we face center, from above comes the unconditional love of God. From the earth comes the gift of life. We give thanks for love like the wings of the eagle. We, delicate our, we dedicate our lives to you, our creator and savior, as we walk on this earth. May we learn together and celebrate the way of peace, harmony, and tranquility. We give thanks to you, O oh God. So our next song, I invite you to share um, what joys you are bringing with you today. And as we sing, please enter your joys in the chat. This is In the Lord I'll Ever Be Thankful, Voices Together, number 118. Lord is near, in the Lord I'll 
be ever thankful in thy Lord my will rejoice look to God do not be afraid lift up your voices the Lord is near lift up your voices the Lord is near in the Lord I'll be ever thankful in the up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Along with all of our joys, we bring concerns, troubles, and laments with us. As we sing our next song, I invite you to enter your prayers for healing and your laments in the chat. Our song Oh So So is from Korea and is a call for Jesus to reconcile his people. So let's enter our laments and our cries for healing. This is a prayer from the Philippines. Living Christ in these times. When we fear we are losing hope or feel that our efforts are futile, let us see in our hearts and minds the image of your resurrection and let that be our source of courage and strength. With that and in your company, Help us face challenges and struggles against all that is born of injustice. Amen. Together, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught. We invite you to choose a language, perhaps it's one that you know, um, a language you speak um, other than English, or you can choose to say, uh, say it in English or French and Spanish are on the screen for you. And so it, we invite you to unmute yourself now. We will not say it in, in unison, it won't work, but it will be a beautiful cacophony of voices. So let's unmute ourselves um, as we join in this prayer. Not the same. Not happy. 
Our Father, Amen. I'll invite you to mute yourselves again. Our next song is found in Voices Together 803. This is We Shall Overcome. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. As we close our time of worship, hear this Cherokee blessing. May the warm winds of heaven blow softly upon you, and may the great spirit make sunrise in your heart. Amen.
Amen. Thank you. I, I feel like um, the omnilingual God is smiling from heaven. Uh, so thank you for this worship. I, I want to give a minute for, for Michelle to explain for French speakers a little bit. I forgot. I'm sorry, Mich Michelle. Now you can do that and Leah will do the opening remarks for us. Uh, juste pour ceux qui uh, ont besoin de traduction française, si vous êtes à travers un ordinateur, vous allez voir au bas de votre écran une petite uh, terre comme une boule ressemble à une terre. Vous n'avez qu'à sélectionner cela, cliquer sur ça et choisir le français. Et vous allez donc entendre la voix de Marcel pour traduire. Si vous êtes à travers un téléphone, vous cliquez sur les trois petits points où c'est écrit « plus ». Et sur « plus », vous avez « interprétation de langue » et vous pouvez sélectionner « français so, ». Thank you, Fanoussi. And now, Leah. Good morning. What a joy to be gathered as a community, even in this virtual way. And I'm so thank you, thankful, Annalie and Matthew, for that beautiful worship that you've, you've blown my mind with how we can come together in a, a worshipful way, even here on the screen. So thank you so much for facilitating that for us this morning. In our MCEC community of faith, we worship God in 16 languages, and we've heard some of that already this morning. What a blessing that we have this diversity of knowing and loving God here in our midst. We have the wonderful opportunity to live into being an intercultural regional church body together and to explore this in the communities where we live and work and worship every day. I'm so thankful to Dr. Marzouk for leading us today as we begin to live into what this means for us here in MCEC and beyond. And I, I loved my colleague Finosi's words this morning that we want a language for who we are becoming as an intercultural church together. And so I look forward to exploring that today. In Matthew chapter 18, the disciples ask Jesus, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus asks a child to come over to him and he replies, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. This is my prayer as we begin and we come to this conversation together that we come with humble and open spirits and welcome each other with warmth and grace and humility. Please join me in prayer. Loving God, give us today the courage to set aside our pride, our security, and our certainty. Unsettle us that we may come with the mind of a child, open and humble, ready to learn, ready to make mistakes, and ready to imagine the fullness and richness of life together as God's beloved people of many languages, cultures, and nations. Amen. Awesome. As we enter our time of closing worship, um, hear these words from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you do. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with a song. So let's come into God's presence with a song. We'll listen to Uye Mose, a song from Zimbabwe. So sing along if you know it or let the music just wash over you. Okay, so we're going to sing this song from Zimbabwe, and uh, it's Uya Imose Tina Matemwari Uya Imose Tsvino at the end. So we're going to start with the grunts, okay, and uh, then uh, the melody line, sopranos, where one see melody, and then the tenor line, and then there is the other dust can. So are we ready? Where wants to start the grunts? <laughs> Hum, 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 
Our next song, Draw the Circle Wide, is found in the Expanding Our Circle section of Voices Together. Join us in singing this call to expand our circle beyond what we know. We're going to take a moment now to reflect on a piece of visual art that is found in Voices Together. The piece is Tree of Life by Seijin Lee. 
Voices Together includes 12 pieces of visual art, and this piece really embodies um, what we just sung about with drawing the circle wide. Um, it depicts the tree where we rest and play, under whose branches we belong. So when we gather, we gather at this tree with friends old and new, forgotten and familiar. We're going to take just a moment of silence now, and as we reflect, I want you to look at all of the beings that are gathered under this tree, and open, to your, open your heart to your siblings in Christ from around the world that you might meet under this tree of life. So we'll just take a moment to reflect on this image and who we meet under the tree of life. As we continue to reflect, we will sing a Lao song that brings us to unity with those around us, which Matthew introduces on this video. Hi there, my name is Matthew Buddha, and I'm here to introduce a Laotian song, which you can find in Voices Together 525. Um, and this is called O Pinong Oi translated as, Dear Friends, We Are One. Um, you'll find that the text itself is anonymous. We don't quite know who actually wrote this um, Laotian text, um, but you'll find this piece of music also in sound, the bamboo hymnal. Um, and the music itself is called, the tune is called Yesu Hak, which is Jesus' love. Um, and it's actually an interesting melody. Um, this Laotian folk tune melody um, will be known also as Duong Chan Ba, which is a very popular Laotian song, um, which Laotians will recognize. Um, it's based off of the, it's almost like the Lao national flower. Um, Duong Chan Ba is, is a, the Laotian uh, way of saying that it's a plumeria flower. Um, and so I encourage you to um, use the accompaniment version, um, have, the, have a, a soloist instrument, soloistic instrument play uh, the melody itself, such as a flute, um, and feel free to improvise through that, um, either within the melody, adding embellishments, or uh, within the accompaniment itself. So this is Dear Friends, We're One, and I will sing it in loud.
Our closing song will be sung first in English and the sec uh, sorry, it'll be sung one time through in Spanish. Um, the Spanish text of this song was written by Jose Aguiar, who is a painter and muralist from La Gomera. So this is Enviados Somos Estudios, Voices Together, number 771. So we encourage you to try out the Spanish with us and feel free to move around if you'd like to. Eternal God, you call us to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths yet as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ. Amen. That concludes our time of worship. Thank you so much for worshiping with us. It's been such a pleasure to explore all of this with you this morning. Thank you. I, I thought that benediction would be good to end with, but um, I wanna thank you, uh, Safwat, and all of you who participated here. I wanna thank you, Norm, for uh, taking that moderating uh, position. You did well. Uh, but I felt like God was uh, holding, has been holding a mirror this teaching has a mirror in front of me, so I can see myself and reflect with a call of uh, trusting him for the things that are so difficult to me and beyond my understanding. And also, I think, with a call of action to the, uh, with the things that I understand really well, and I can make a difference, boldly act uh, to, to change the world, and as if God has only me to change the world. And the last one is, um, I think God is calling us to hum humility, uh, to be humble, to make mistakes and learn from our mistakes by extending and receiving forgiveness. So please uh, join me in this uh, position of learning and journeying together as we embrace again, becoming who we are and who will, we will be and the future under MSEC. We are blessed, guys. I, it, it, it has been a blessing. God has sent this for us and continue to learn and teach each other. God bless you. Thank you very much. And thank you for the worship. You two did an excellent job. And yeah, that is, I think, uh,